Hey folks, let's go over eight different ways that we can initialize pandas data frames in Python. We're gonna jump right in here. Most importantly to get started, you need to make sure that you have pandas installed and we're going to import pandas. Um, notice here I'm using a Jupyter Notebook. If you wanna see how you can get this going in Visual Studio Code, it's really easy. You just need to call, install a couple of extensions and I'll try to link to directions below for you. All right, so we're gonna import pandas as PD and I'm gonna hit shift enter to run that cell. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is we're just gonna create an empty pandas data frame. Data frame with nothing in it, just empty. So let's go df equals PD pandas dot data frame and we just do it like this and this will create an empty data frame. So let's do two things. Let's print out the type of our data frame. I'm gonna use a print statement here. And then let's print out the data frame itself so we can see what that looks like. And I'll use shift enter to run this code. Okay, there we go. You can see that our type is a pandas core data frame and we have an empty data frame here with no columns and no index values, which is what we created. Okay, so now that we have this, we can add some data to our data frame. So let's make a variable here, we'll call it names. We're gonna give some names of people, make another one, we'll call it ages, and we'll give some ages of those people. So our names, let's go Jill, Jesse, Jane, and Jacob. And if you want this code um, to be able to copy it, go check out the website. There's an article with all this code in there that you can copy and paste. Ages 34, 67, 78, 45. Okay, now let's run this to lock those variables in. There we go. Now, it's really, really easy to add data to an existing data frame. All we do is we reference our data frame and we create a column by giving it a column name. So let's call this name and equals names. And then df age equals ages. Now the caveat here is these lists need to be the same length or you'll get an error. Once you do this, let's print out df again. You can hit shift enter to run this. And you can see our data frame. We now have, instead of an empty data frame, which we had up here, you can see we now have a data frame, a table with all this information and row index values. Okay, now what we can also do is we can initialize a data frame given a list of values. So let's say um, that we have some data. And these are very simple data, two, one, two, three, four. And we want to create a data frame out of these to do some further manipulations or maybe to add more data to them later, whatever it may be. We can create a data frame with df pd data frame. Just pass it the data and we can pass it columns. So we can just give it column name. And this will create a data frame with one column that has these data and the column name column name. So let's print this out with df, hit shift enter, and you can see there is our resulting data frame. Pretty simple. But what if we have multiple lists we want to create a data frame from? We can do this with the list of lists. So let's use the same data from before with the names. Um, we're going to create a list of lists here though. So what that means is inside my list, I'm going to have another list. And these sublists are going to uh, have values for each column. Okay, so each sublist represents a row, and each item in the sublist represents a column. Let me show you what I mean. So if we use the same data from above, our names and ages, we have Jill, age 34. Then we would have Jesse, age 67. Then we would have 
Jade. And her age would be 78. And Jacob, age 45. So that are our data. Now we can make a data frame out of these data with df equals pd dot data frame pass data columns equal name and age. And this will produce, or it should produce if we've done things correctly, this same data frame here. That was created from these data. This is created from the data here. This is our third method, a data frame from a list of lists. Let's hit shift enter and run that. And there you can see we get that same data frame. Now the reason I'm showing you these different ways is it's very common that when you're working with data programmatically, they'll come in in many different formats. In some you might have lists with a single value in each one, in others you might have lists of lists, um, but there might be different ways you need to add these things into a data frame. All right, let's go ahead and do another one here, and let's import data from a NumPy array. So we're gonna to need to import NumPy, you'll need to have NumPy installed. I'm gonna import NumPy as NP, and let's create a new data variable here. So our data will be a NumPy array, NumPy array. And let's make this a two-dimensional array. And so we'll just make this very simple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And so what we have here is an array with three rows and three columns. We want to turn this into a data frame where each of these, where in this two-dimensional array, each column is a column and each row is a row. Easy enough, right? And we could do this basically the same way we did it with a list of lists, even though the data are a different type and formatted differently. So we can do df equals pd.dataframe data, then our columns equal column one, column two, and column three. Print out our data frame. Let's hit shift enter to run this code. There you can see we have a nice data frame and that mirrors our numpy array or numpy array. Okay, let's move on to working with dictionaries. Dictionaries are perhaps the one of the easiest, slickest, most common ways to make data frames. So let's just do this all in one line of code also. So we're gonna make a data frame straight from dictionary using the same values of, as above. So our data frame equals a pandas data frame. Curly braces to start our dictionary. Let's give it a key name and we can give it a list of values here. So Jill, Jesse, Jane, and Jacob. Comma, enter, a new key, age, another list of values here. 34, 67, 78, 45. Okay, and so here's our dictionary. The dictionary is this part right here. We're initializing a data frame straight from a dictionary. And now let's print this out and we should get the same data frame that we've created multiple times already. And let's hit shift enter to run the code. And here it is, there the code is run and we have that same data frame. Now we could do the same thing, let's just copy this code. Since we have these in lists already, we can just do name, names and ages. And if I hit shift enter, this will give me the same answer. Just like so. Okay, now the other way we can do this is from a list of dictionaries. You'll notice here how each 
how we have a key and a list of values, you might not always have your data come in this way. You might get a dictionary that has name and age, it's just Jill 34, another dictionary that's Jesse 67. And that's a common way to have data represented and you wanna create a data frame, which we'll do in about the same way. Let's just make a variable called dictionaries. It's gonna be a list and each item will be a dictionary. So we're gonna have name, Jill, age, 34. And then we will have another item below this. So let's just copy this, repeat it for everyone. Jesse, 67. Jane, 78. And Jacob, 45. We can easily create a data frame from this with df equals pd dot data frame with our dictionaries and print out our data frame and use shift enter to run the code. And there you go. We once again have that same dictionary. Okay, and one of the most common ways you'll read data frames in is from an existing file, like a CSV file. You'll see here I have a CSV file. If I click on this, it should open up. And you can see this is just a text file with name and age in the header as columns and the data in each of those columns and all these data are just separated by commas. This is a text file, a comma delimited text file, and you can read in data to pandas from this format and from any other tab delimited format. I'll just show you how to do this with read CSV and then you can, you can figure out the rest for other delimiters. So this is very easy to do. We're just gonna specify a file name. So fn equals data slash my CSV dot CSV. Our data frame equals pd dot read underscore CSV and give it the file name and then print out our data frame and use shift enter to run this code. There it is, same file once again, or same data frame once again, really, really easy to do. Now let's take a look at these data in Excel. Um, okay, so if I open this file up in Excel, I have an Excel sheet here that has two sheets. You can see that I have the same data frame, although the headers are capitalized here. And then I have sheet two here, which has some made up data of occupations and salaries. So we can go in and we can read these data in also. Now, one caveat here, you need to have an additional module installed. You need to have open Pi Excel installed. You don't need to import it because um, behind the scenes pandas will just call it, but you need to have open Pi Excel installed for this to work. So let's give it a file name again. So our file name equals data my Excel dot XLSX. And now we can use DF equals PD dot read Excel file name. Now here, notice I'm not specifying a sheet. Let's see what happens when I run this. Shift enter. Oh, we got an error. Oh, and do you know what the error is? We're missing an optional dependency. Oh, this is good. I get to show you how to install it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to open up my Anaconda prompt and I'm going to do Conda activate my environment, activate test. And we'll do Conda install OpenPy Excel. Nope, I should use Conda Forge, Open Pi Excel. I'm using Conda Forge because that's the, the channel I generally install packages from just to keep things consistent. And this will take just a minute. So I will pause the video while that. Now, while that's going, one thing to notice is this wants me to install Excel RD. We should be okay to install Open Pi Excel. We'll find out 
very shortly. Okay, things are installing and it's finished installing. Let's see if this code will run now. There you go. You can see it ran and you can see it pulled in sheet one. Okay, well, what if I want, that's good to know, but maybe I need to make this a little more explicit. explicit. So df equals pd.read excel file name, sheet name equals, and what's my sheet name? Let's go look at it. Right here, it is sheet one and sheet two. Let's read in sheet one, and then we'll read in sheet two. So let's print our data frame. We'll get the same answer here if we just specified the sheet explicitly. And there it is. And now let's go df equals pd.read excel. Give it the file name again. And the sheet name equals sheet two. Print the data frame, shift enter to run. And there you see, we've now printed out the second sheet. Awesome. So there you go. We just went through eight ways that you can read data as a pandas data frame, or you can create a pandas data frame from scratch. I hope you found this useful. And once again, the code is available on the website if you want to copy and paste. Thanks for watching.